sit down with a supply chain and say, let's do a deal and come through this recession together. And talk honestly with these people. It's a win-win situation. Building relationships. I put this in simply because of a wonderful line in Bernard Ross's report from the Management Centre, which is um, wonderful because it's so wise after the event, but it's probably true. If you have an implemented relationship, whether you were fundraising by this invented, you would be okay now. Kind of makes sense, thanks. I can't go back 20 years. But what that means is proactivity in relationships, whether it's asking, whether it's stewardship, whatever it is, that are targeting people who care most. It's as simple as that. Increasing staff efficiency. Stop talking, start doing. I know people that have had two day recession wages. Yeah? Utterly pointless waste of time and money. Measure the use of time of staff. Yeah? There is one solution in a recession work harder. You have no more money to spend. Yeah? All you have to do is dig in and work your backsides off. It is that simple. Because you cannot get increased. I've heard people at the moment say we can't do that because we have no resources. But sir, we're in the financial equivalent of the Second World War. Work 60 years a day. You know? People at chorus at the moment negotiate longer hours for less pay because otherwise they're not going to have a job. It's the real world in a recession. Do everything the best way, not the easiest way, and focus on the most profitable areas right now. Come back to that in a second. Any planning you're doing, strategic planning, focus that on the recovery. Yeah? If you're strategically planning for a recession now, you're too late. You can't stop the recession. It's time to roll up your sleeves in there. You can use the recession. You can apply recession special to anything. I'm going to come back to this right at the end. Okay. How to keep staff motivated. This isn't the time for expensive away days, pay rises, commissionless schemes to keep people motivated. This is the time for the Dunkirk spirit. Yeah? This is the time to say, we rely on you, you rely on us. We're here to do a really good job. I promise you nothing except blood, sweat, toil and tears. Because that is the reality of the situation. Any attempt to fiddle around the edges just won't happen. It is the reality. But it's also positive, and in the zeitgeist, I think a huge boom in charitable involvement, notice the careful use of the word involvement, not giving, is on the way. 